Hi, welcome to Drive With Care. Today I'm going to do driving test route number two in Canterbury. I'll put it on the screen for you. We leave the test centre, we head down towards Fenix, and then we take a right hand turn heading towards Sainsbury's. And then we're going to go through Broad Oak Industrial Estate, turning left into Farley Road, and then we'll go around Kemsing Gardens think onto the Tenterden Road which then takes us on Giles Lane which goes past the University and then we'll drop down back into Canterbury into a 20 mile an hour zone before hitting the Reams Way and um, yeah back to the test centre. Could be quite a quick run so um, follow the instructions on screen and just watch out for hazards. I probably would call out hazards this time so let's get Let's get going. Turn right out of the test centre. So turning right out the test centre, we cross a pavement. So watch out for pedestrians. But I do need to um, um, move on to the roundabout so that... At the traffic lights, continue straight on. Move on to the roundabout, move on to the pavement so that I can get onto the road. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Right, we want the third exit, so I need to get into that lane. out for cars coming out on the right but also once I'm on the roundabout I need to watch out for cars approaching from the left. It's clear to my right, I'll follow the Fiesta on. I'm not going to drive on the Chevrons. Okay, off the roundabout. We're in a 30 mile an hour zone. Pedestrians crossing. We have a bus lane on the left, so we don't need to go into that, do we? <laughs> So just watch out, <coughs> excuse me, watch out for the hazards which are pedestrians and also vehicles coming out of junctions, that kind of thing, it can catch you out. Still no U-turns. sign said there was a bend in the road because <laughs> there isn't no left turn and then no u-turn but you're going to be following the driving instruction anyway aren't you the examiner's going to tell you where to go in the most polite way at the roundabout take the first exit so don't forget to indicate just because everybody else isn't just don't like to indicate, do they? I was following that Fiesta, it was indicating around that other roundabout, and then it didn't. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Second exit is straight across, technically. Well, yeah, that's not straight across, is it? Slightly veering to the right and then off. So I'm taking this lane because there are three lanes. to my right, indicate off the roundabout as the Range Rover has done, lovely stuff. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Straight across the roundabout, which means I can take the left lane, 
indicate off the roundabout. Not many hazards, which is good, but that doesn't mean you stop looking out for them. Even things like this, a car coming out of the sports centre. At the roundabout, take the third exit. Third exit is all the way round. So we're getting the right hand lane. Clear to my right. Pedestrian in the road. He's already passed. Zebra crossing, nobody waiting. Reminder, you know, the smaller speed limit signs. But once you come into a 30 zone from a location until you're instructed otherwise, i.e. another 40 mile an hour zone sign, then stick at 30. Take the next left. So the next left is taking us up into housing estate, housing area. Weight restriction of seven and a half tons, so thankfully we won't anticipate any 18 wheelers. Just have fun driving the car. Take the next right. into the junction with cars parked on the right. There could be oncoming traffic, so potentially you might have to be giving way as soon as you drive into the, to the road. But there wasn't anything coming. Rattle in my door. So if the examiner hasn't instructed you to do anything, just keep going. We've got some roadworks, we've got pedestrian in the road. Move over to your left straight away. <laughs> She's walking in the diagonal. Right, we've got a big truck reversing. So I'm going to give way until it comes out on the road. I see a cat that could come running into the road. Blind left bends. Little cat looking for a, a mouse. Cars on the left. That's the thing with the housing estate. You never know if you're going to see people, children, cyclists, other cars as we have there. So you're going to have to control your car because it's a hill. So I had to drop down second there. Road narrows on the right, so we've got road works. It really is blind, isn't it? At the junction, turn right. right we've got to get past this highways maintenance vehicle. Let's get into my lane. of cars parked. It's very much a case of anticipate something coming. It's probably the safest thing to do because then you are prepared to stop. There's nothing worse than just going for it and then suddenly there's a car there. You know. Got varying temperatures out there so it's um, clogging up my windscreen. At the junction, turn right. I'm already looking left and right as I approach the junction and then we've got these traffic calming 
things jutting out. So with nothing coming, I'm just going for it. And parked on the right, making it very narrow to get through. Seagull. <laughs> That's not going to rip. Oh, all <laughs> that rubbish out there. That's what attracted the seagull. Or the gull. Could be a herring gull. At the junction, turn right. Well, we've got giveaway ahead. We're turning right. Got the indicators on. Absolutely clear to my left, but it's a blind bend on the right, and that's now cars coming. You're just going to have to be aware that once you're committed, you go for it, because you can only see about 20 yards up the road. As you can see as I come round, it's a, a blind bend as it comes round towards the junction. Going uphill, so... um get control of your gears unless you're in an automatic I haven't seen any reminder repeater speed limits so I'm still making the assumption it's a 30 mile an hour zone the roundabout, take the first exit. So this is part of the route that takes us through the university. Mini roundabout. Nothing to my right. Humps for 50 yards. <laughs> Don't get the hump right. <laughs> well, I've got mini roundabout. We had no instructions, so we're going straight on and I'm going around the roundabout. I'm not going to cross onto it because you have to treat them as a roundabout. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Way. Nothing to my right, car approaching, but that is not hazard for me. It's typical, the one part of my windscreen that isn't clearing is where the camera is. <laughs> I hope the um, image isn't blurred. was a 30. Got a pedestrian in the road. The others are waiting. Narrowish lane here. Pedestrian. driving instructor but I remember when I was taking my test and my instructor said to me you've got to be confident behind the wheel and you've got to make that examiner think that he's comfortable in the car with you you know he's not sitting there biting his nails or his feet reaching for the emergency brake he's comfortable as a passenger in your car because you are driving with confidence. At the junction, turn left. And there I was talking over the voiceover. <laughs> and I know how nerve wracking, because I've been, I've done my test. I know how nerve wracking it is having an examiner sat there who you don't know 
and they're they're like the higher tier, aren't they? It's like sitting with the headmaster in your in your car, that kind of thing. So um, yeah, it's I don't know. Just treat him as a or her if it's a a, a long lost relative that you haven't seen in a long time, so you've got nothing to say to them, but you'll just take them from A to B in your car or a taxi driver. They generally don't talk to you, do they? Unless they're the pleasant variety. So I'm using my brakes to monitor my speed here. Because it is a 30 zone. I'm still in gear, I'm not in neutral. You can guess I'm doing this run early in the morning. Well, it's half eight now. But my voice is still croaky from a night of sleeping. <laughs> right, we're getting into a 20 zone. I've got a cyclist who's, you know, in front of me. I will get past him if he doesn't increase his speed, but there's a car coming. I'm down, now doing 15, so I'll get up to 20. Indicate past the cyclist. Only if it doesn't take you over 30 miles an hour or 20 miles an hour, because it's a 20 zone, isn't it? And you want to be doing 20. Car coming out of junction. Jogger. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Going around the roundabout, we're not crossing the roundabout like the Fiesta did. You must use the roundabout as, even though it's a flat white circle in the road, you go around the mini roundabout. Got a monkey on the um, building with a spray can. <laughs> not a hazard. But of course your eyes are drawn to it. Still in a 20 zone. We now get onto the dual carriageway, it takes us round Green's way. And um, 40 mile an hour zone. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Fiesta's indicating. miles an hour we do have speed camera signs the speed camera is way over near Canterbury East but I think they have um, a, a radius thing so wherever the camera is they can put their signs up for something like two or three miles so for the uninitiated you don't know where the camera is <laughs> at the roundabout take the third exit Third exit on the roundabout, so indicate into my lane, turn the indicator off because I was only telling people I was going in the lane, and then put my indicator on to go around the roundabout. Or rather, go around the roundabout. There's an A in front of that word. In this lane, but then I'll cross lanes as I exit the roundabout and enter in the left-hand lane of the dual carriageway. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Second exit is straight across, so yeah, indicate off the roundabout into a 30 zone. to my right, indicate off the roundabout, 
I was watching that junction as I went past to make sure the car wasn't racing out. It's just being aware of everything, even behind you, looking in your mirrors all the time. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Second exit is straight across in this instance. So keep in the middle lane here. Left hand lane is indicated on the road markings as going left only. Indicate off the roundabout. At the roundabout, take the second exit. second exit is kind of all the way around, isn't it? Because you can't enter that way. Guess what? We're going back to the test centre. Well, I'm assuming. <laughs> Examiner might take you somewhere else, right? Let's give it up for the voiceover. Yay! Return to the test centre. There's a filtering in area here. I had the guy shouting, which distracted me, and then the car was um, pulling in. Don't shout at me for indicating too early there. I did that because there was a car coming out of the test centre and I wanted them to know that I was turning left so that I didn't have to distract the person taking their driving test there. So I did that on their benefit. So that was driving test number two. Actually a lot shorter than the other one and I think because it only took us around the housing estate it didn't take us off to bridge and the A2, anything like that. I didn't do any of the things that you might do, such as emergency stops, turning the vehicle around in the road, if they still do that. Um, I'll leave that to the examiner. All I wanted to do was um, give you the route. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye for now. Drive with care.